In this video, we're given the problem that a geometric series has only positive terms, that the sum of the first four terms is equal to 15, and the sum to infinity is equal to 16, find the sum of the first eight terms. So let's look at our two key pieces of information. The sum of the first four terms is equal to 15, so let's deal with that first. Well, this is going to use the sum of the first n term formula, where we can substitute n is equal to 4. So really, we can say we have a times 1 minus r to the n, which is 4, over 1 minus r, and that's equal to 15. That's going to be equation number 1. We then have our sum to infinity, which is equal to 16. So let's look at the formula for this. We have a over 1 minus r is equal to 16. That is equation number 2. Now, you might be able to see this already, but actually in the first equation, we already have an a over 1 minus r. So... If we have the same expression, we can just replace the a over 1 minus r with 16 directly. So we're going to sub equation 2 into 1, which gives us 16 times 1 minus r to the 4 is equal to 15. So 1 minus r to the 4 is 15 over 16 r to the 4 is therefore equal to 1 over 16 and if you take the fourth root of 1 over 16 r is equal to plus and minus a half now that's important that we do get two values for r however when we look back at the question we're told that the geometric series has only positive terms which means that our r value can't be negative because if it's negative, we would be generating some negative terms every other term. So as all terms are positive, this implies that r must be greater than zero. So therefore, r is equal to a half. So we have a value for r. We do actually need to find what the first term is. Technically, you can use E, the formula, but the second formula is easier. So using A over 1 minus R is equal to 16. We can say that A over 1 minus a half is equal to 16. 1 minus a half is a half. So 2A is equal to 16 and therefore a is equal to 8. So we have our first term, we have our value for r. We can now find the sum of the first 8 terms. So a is equal to 8, r is equal to a half, and because we want the sum of the first 8 terms, n is equal to 8. So s8 is equal to, if we substitute into the formula, we have 8 times 1 minus our r value, which is a half, to the power of n, which is 8, all over 1 minus r to 1 minus a half. 1 minus a half is a half. 8 divided by a half becomes 16. So you get 16 times 1 minus a half to the 8, which if you put into your calculator, you end up with 255 over 16, which is your exact value, which is how I would leave it for this problem. And that's how we tackle this problem.